verse number 16. He said, Awake, O north wind, come thou south. Blow upon my garden that the spices thereof I, I may flow out. I, I let my beloved come into his garden I, and eat his pleasant fruit. I, our Heavenly Father, most righteous God, I, our Lord, as we come once again this morning, I, I in the name of Jesus, that name, I, all that's above every name, God, I thank you. I, I, for the wonderful I, our songs of Zion in here this morning. I, how but now, God, I pray. How reach down and anoint me, your servant. How with the Holy Ghost and with power. Ha, and Lord, we'll not fail to give you the praise. Ha, ha, the honor and the glory. Ha, ha, for it's in Jesus' name. Ha, ha, amen and amen. Ha, ha, you can be seated this morning. Amen. I, I love this scripture God had brought to my attention. Ha, ha, amen. About a week or so ago. Ha, amen. How that he says, ha, ha, Awake, O north wind, and come thou south. Ha, ha, blow upon my garden. Ha, ha, amen. You know, as we look around, ha, ha, in the natural, ha, ha, we are at a time ha, ha, when the leaves have fallen off the trees. Ha, ha, amen. Things begin to look bad. Ha, ha, but he here in the scripture, ha, ha, he's saying, Awake, O north wind, ha, and come to our south, ha, and blow upon my garden. Ha, ha, before that he could ever ha, ha, have the beloved come in, ha, amen, and eat his pleasant fruit, it takes ha, ha, that wind a blowing ha, ha, before the garden can produce. Ha, and I want you to know this morning, ha, ha, before you and I can ever do anything, ha, how it takes the breath of God ha, ha, in our life. Ha, ha, we need that wind ha, ha, to blow in our lives once again. Ha, ha, hallelujah this morning. Ha, ha, now I know maybe you don't understand where I'm going, ha, ha, but by the time that I'm done, ha, I'm praying ha, ha, that you would say like the writer, ha, ha, amen, come thou north wind ha, and thou south wind and blow upon my garden. Ha, God give us new life today. I've got to encourage us because when God begins to breathe into something, it always brings new life. Amen. Now he created ha, ha, man out of the dust of the earth. Ha, ha, but until he breathed into him, ha, ha, he was just an empty vessel. Ha, ha, but when God breathed into Adam, ha, ha, he became a living soul. Ha, and brother, there's something about the wind or the breath of God. Ha, ha, amen. That ought to stir our hearts this morning. Ha, ha, because brother Jerry, everywhere that I look, ha, amen, I begin to see ha, ha, the dynamic blessing of God ha, ha, when that wind showed up. Ha, ha, Genesis 8 and 1 ha, ha, Noah has been on the ark for some time. Ha, ha, everywhere that he looks ha, ha, he sees the water still up ha, and he's waiting to get off. Ha, ha, but the Bible said ha, ha, God made a wind to pass over the earth ha, and the waters swayed. Ha, ha, amen. When God begins to send that Holy Holy Ghost wind. How in the alive it may look like ha, ha, you're surrounded with problems ha, ha, on every hand. Ha, ha, but the same God ha, ha, that calls the wind to blow ha, ha, in Noah's day ha, and calls the waters to a sway ha, or to go down ha, ha, can remove them problems ha, ha, that are in your life. Ha, ha, I can say, my preacher, ha, ha, it looks like that I've got so much against me. Ha, ha, but I'm reminded of the words ha, of the Apostle Paul. Ha, ha, what shall we then say to these things? Ha, if God ha, ha, be for us, ha, ha, who then ha, ha, can be against us this morning? Hey Amen. He's crying out for the wind to blow. Ha, hey Amen. And that ought to be our heart's cry this morning. Ha, I'm talking about the same kind of wind. Ha, ha, that in Acts chapter 2, ha, on the day of Pentecost, and suddenly... Ha, have there come a sound from heaven ha, has some mighty Russian wind ha, and brother that wind ha, ha, brought the empowerment ha, ha, the spirit into their life ha, and 12 men ha, ha, turned the world upside down ha, ha, 
tonight, brother, we need more than a form and a fashion. Oh. Uh, we need more than enticing words and man's wisdom. Oh. Uh, but amen, if we want God uh, uh, to bless us to see fruit produced uh, uh, in our garden, uh, uh, we need that north wind. Uh, uh, we need that south wind. Uh, and when God sends the wind again, uh, uh, brother, I believe uh, uh, we can rise up, uh, amen, and go forth in victory. Uh, I said, thank God uh, uh, for the Spirit uh, uh, the living God here this morning. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. amen. Come on now. Uh, I said, everywhere I begin to look, uh, how that wind played a significant role. Uh, amen. I could talk to you. Uh, amen. There in Exodus when they were backed up against the Red Sea uh, and how the wind began to blow. Uh, amen. What about Numbers chapter 11? Uh, how when they were hungry. Uh, amen. And they wanted meat God caused to win how oh. to bring in the quail how that fell near the cane how brother every time how that God sends that win how you and I are a winner how we can receive something of that how oh. we are living in a time how that where the enemy is trying how to stop that wind from blowing in our lives how he wants us to be there how dead spiritually on the inside I, I'm just going through the motions. I, I, my friend, I, I come to preach to us this morning. I, I, we need that wind to blow in our lives once again I, I, in a greater way. I, I, you say, what are you talking about, preacher? I, I, even in the natural, I, I, whenever the summertime gets hot I, and the humidity gets uncomfortable, I, I, you'll see them folks getting them a fan. I, I'm trying to get a little bit of relief. I, I'm trying to stir up that wind. I, I, friend, I said it's time we raise our hands into heaven. I, I begin to thank God to give him praise. I, I let that wind get stirred up in our eyes. I, I'm a call to Timothy. I, I stir up the gift of God that's in you. I, I, maybe you're uncomfortable where you're at this morning. I, I, but if you can reach for a fan I, I, in the natural I, I, to try to bring relief, I, I would encourage you to reach out to God. I, I begin to lift him up. I, and as we lift him up, I, I, brother, he'll come I, I, right on time. I, I said he's never late. I, I, amen. But he's got a plan I, I, for each and every one I, of our lives this morning. Bless him, Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There's so many things in that scripture. I, amen. The north wind normally I, I, is a cold wind. I, amen. Symbolizing fall and winter. I, amen. The pruning stage. Ha, ha, but amen. How many realize ha, how that fall is not the end of it? Ha, ha, it's just setting the stage for springtime. Ha, oh. ha, for new life. Ha, ha, amen. For the newness that's coming right around ha, ha, the corner in a few months. Ha, and maybe you're here this morning ha, and you're saying, I'm experiencing that north wind. Ha, I seem like things are getting pruned out of my life. Ha, ha, amen. God is just making ready. Ha, oh. ha, for the new that's coming. I, I said, you don't have to throw in the towel. I, I, somebody said, but oh, I'm in. I, I situation. I, amen. I was thinking about a carrot. I, I, you know, a carrot grows in the dirt. I, I, but the dirt don't grow up into the carrot. I, I, you may be in a situation. I, I, but you can still prosper. I, I, in spite of it, that situation. I, I didn't have to stunt your growth. I, I, that situation didn't have to rob you of the joy. But I believe, amen, we can still give God some glory. But we can never become too satisfied out of where we think, well, we've got it figured out. Things are good. Brother, it can get better. But before it can get better, we can see the fruit. Brother, it takes the Spirit of God. For it's the body without the Spirit is dead. A church without the spirit is dead also. Brother, we've got to have the spirit of God. I pray said without the spirit, you're none of mine. Oh boy. Amen. Amen. Think about it. I, I said everywhere I begin to look, I, I, that wind kept popping up. I, amen. I went over. I, 
out to First Kings, amen, and guess what happened? Chapter 19, verse 11, the Bible said that the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind rent the mountain. Now this is not some a little bitty thing I'm talking about, but our God is a mighty God. And Ephesians 3 and 20, and you hear me quote it all the time, and now under him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above and beyond all that we ask or think, according to that power which worketh in us. And you know, I've seen that we I pick up a semi. I spin it around like a top. I put it in the natural. I, I, but I want you to know there's not a problem. I, I to be. I, I, there's not a situation so I, I desperate that the Spirit of God I, I can't move in your life. I, I said, my God, I, I can open a door that no man can shut. I, I, but we can't take that for granted. I, I preach it when I shut it. I, I no man can open it. I, I, brother, without the Spirit of God this morning, I, all we've got are gimmicks, I, I parlor tricks and ideas. I, awesome. Amen. And you have one here. I, I, the devil will have a prettier one down the road. I, right. I, but when you have the Spirit of God I, I, in your midst, it makes a drawing power I, right. I, that produces fruit I, oh. I, in spite of what's going on around you. I, oh. I know we may be living in the life Things, but I still believe the words of John who said in first John four and four a year of God little children and I will overcome them for greater is he who is within you than he that's in the world don't you think church that it's time that that we I blow again come on sir. Hallelujah. I said we need more than just amen atmospheric change a lot of times you know we try to set the stage and I mean that's good having that welcoming environment for the spirit amen to make him welcome amen to say that I've got as the spirit John 4 24 and they that worship him I must worship him in spirit and in truth truth. And you can have the right song. You can have the right attitude. But you've also got to have the hunger. And then you've got to yield. Amen. It's one thing to sit down in front of a buffet. But if you don't ever get the napkin on, I put it around your neck. I go get your utensils and get your plate. And begin to get a hold of it. It ain't going to feed your hunger. I've been in the right place. I, I friend, you've got to be a partaker of it. I, I, that's why the writer said I, I, it's not just the hearer that's justified. I, I mean, you can hear him sing. I, I, you can hear him shout. I, I, but until you begin to raise that hand and say, I don't know about you, I, I, but I believe I'm going to praise God anyhow. I, I'm a preacher. I got problems in my life. I, I, amen. But I'm going to praise him. Anyhow, I'm near his gates. I'm with Thanksgiving. I'm near his courts with praise. I'm his host, my friend. This is a day that the Lord is me. And I will rejoice. It's going to be glad there is, thank God. Said we need to realize how that that wind can still rent the mountain. Amen. God. Amen. Can tear all that mess up. Amen. God can handle it in an instant. In a moment. But I've been praying for years. God can move in an instant. I just hang in there. For amen. Let us not grow weary in well doing for in due season. I mean it may be fall right now. It may seem like winter right now. How about springtime is coming? Hallelujah. For as long as the earth remaineth, there'll be 
I springtime and harvest. I, I, there'll be summer and winter. I, as long as this earth remains. I, I said it may be fall this morning. I, I, you don't got to wave the white flag to surrender. I, I, hey man, hang on. I, I praise it. I, I put on that ground up. I, I get ready for the harvest that's coming. I, I, hey man, I said get ready. I, I let that wind go again. I, and when that wind blows, I, I pray they will be fruit. I, I pray, man, how many realize I, I, God cannot lie. I, I, the Bible said that his word, I, I would not return void. I, I, but it shall accomplish. I, I put them to that he sends it. Well, I've said the word. I don't see it. Well, not yet. Amen. God said his word would not return void and God cannot lie. For God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Ha, ha, have he not said it and will he not do it? Ha, or have he not spoken it? Ha, and shall he not make it good? Ha, and brother, whenever, ha, amen, it come time for Elijah to leave. Ha, amen, I got news for you. Ha, it wasn't no long black train that come God. Ha, ha, amen, he went out of here. Ha, ha, with chariots of fire and the whirlwind of God. Ha, and you realize when you and I leave here I, I, we're leaving in a whirlwind I, I mean God is coming to get us I, I, amen well praise the name of the Lord I, I said he didn't have to sneak off I, I, but God took him out of here I, amen wonderfully I, I said God took him out I, amen and whenever I, I, you and I leave here we're not leaving I, I, amen sneaking I, I, but amen the Bible said the Lord himself I, I, he ain't gonna sin Gabriel and Michael but the Lord himself he's going to descend from heaven when the shout amen the voice of the archangel and the trump of God but why is he coming he's coming for you and I but yet we want to look at our garden amen sometimes and think well it's just I, past its prime I, I mean it's done produce I, amen all that it can produce I, you know we do people the same way sometimes I, I, we look at them and say well I, I guess they're past their prime I, amen I, I mean I guess there's no coming back I, I, but amen we're not God I, amen Job said that though that root thereof I, I wax old in the earth I, amen through the sin of water I, I bet it would bud I, Amen. It would bloom again. I, I, friend, I want you to know just I, a little bit of the moving of the Spirit of God. I, I can renew us. I, I, brother, I said it can renew us. I, I like young men again. I, I, amen. Like young folks. I, I, for Isaiah 40 and 31, I, I, he said, They that wait upon the Lord I, I shall I, I renew their strength. I, I, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. I, and run and not grow weary and walk and not faint brother don't you think it's time I'd like the rider that we cry out for the wind to blow upon our garden once again I say this one thing to just try to have a green thumb amen it's one thing to fertilize it's one thing to water but amen when it's all said and done, it still takes God. Hey Amen. God wants us to have faith. God wants us to read and to study and to pray. But amen, in spite of everything that we do, we've got to remember that still it's, it takes God. Amen. He said, without me, you can do nothing. And I thank God, Brother Roger, this morning that we are living in such a blessed time. I mean, we've got access to Bible. I, I'm knowledge. We've got commentaries. I, 
How we got preaching on the TV, the radio, the computer. But in spite of everything that we have, let's not forget what we need. And we still, our sister Vicky got to have that intimate relationship with our Lord and Savior and not get so caught up in doing the service of God that we forget about our relationship with God. Amen. And I can remember a time that we took our time and folks came to the altar and they sought for more of God. I mean, many of them had been in church for years. But they realized, amen, the more I get, the more I want. I want more of God. I want to know more about my Jesus. I want to know more about my life. I mean, it's good. The singing's good. The service is good. But I've got a feeling. I think something more in there and say, pray for me. Amen. I, I never will forget the old sister over here. I, I, amen. Then don't now believe. I, I, but she come up many years ago. I, I, not long after I first came. I, I mean, an old sister, you probably know who I'm saying. I, I, but she said, when I was young, I, I, they used to accuse Pentecostals of having powders up their sleeve. I, I, you know, she said, boy, if it was powder, I, I'd like to have me a, a washed up full of it. I, I, she said I bathed in it I, and she come and got in the prayer line over here in the old sanctuary I, I, brother I, I mean she was an ancient sister I, I, but she was still I, I, looking for more of God I, I, she had not been satisfied I, and so what about us this morning I, have we come to a place I, I, that we're satisfied I, I, that we still feel a little bit I, or do you remember that hunger and that brought you to honor some years ago in the first place. Bless him, Lord. Lord God. It touched my heart. I mean, she was old. She could have said, whew, just waiting on the Lord. Waiting to get out of here. No, she said, I want more. Man, I want more of God. Man, God. Hey, man, that ought to challenge us that when we come in, not just to sit there, but to seek. Yes. Amen. I said to seek for more of God. How for he said, seek me and you'll find me when you search for me with all of your heart. I, I mean, if you don't get I, I, anything out of it, what did you invest in it? I, I, you know, we have this tendency sometimes I, I, to buy the cheapest I, and then wonder why it doesn't last. I, I, but they say you get out of it I, or you get what you pay for at it. I, I, friend, I've come to tell us this morning, I, as God stirred my heart, I, amen, in the beginning of the scripture in Song of Solomon 4, I, I, that I read to you, said, come and blow upon my garden. But then on the latter part of that scripture, amen, said, let my beloved come into his garden. This ain't about us. We belong to him. The Bible said you're not your own. You've been bought with a price. Not with corruptible things. Such as silver and gold. But by the precious blood of the Lamb. Friend, this ain't just your garden. I, I, this garden belongs to him. I, and he's seeking fruit in our lives. Oh Thank you, Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I said, think about it. I, I said, Elijah went out of here. Hey, Amen. How are we going to go out of here? Hey, Amen. The Bible said in Psalm 78, verse 26, he calls us an east wind to blow in the heaven. And by his power, he brought in the south wind. Amen. The south wind is normally a warmer, a more a, 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 a tolerable type, type of climate. Amen. And I'm glad that when God begins to move, amen, God can bless us. Amen. Beyond anything that we can even expect or imagine. But a lot of folks have done give up. They've gotten satisfied. Amen. I travel around a whole lot. And 
not many are still seeking for more of God. They said when trouble comes, and then we want to knock on that door, it's me again, Lord. I've got another prayer that needs an answer. I'm a brother Jerry, I don't want to wait until my life is falling down around me. While I've got an opportunity, I brother, I've come hungry. And I want more of God. Because when we are living in these last days, I don't want to finish weakly, but I want to finish strongly. Amen. And I still believe that God I can send the wind yes, once again. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Yes. But see, some folks have done give up on revival. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's a different time. Now I understand that. We're seeing things now that I never could have imagined when I was a young boy. Our kids are facing things that I never had to face. Amen. Things are going on in our communities that I never would have thought would have ever happened. Yeah. But let me ask you, does that change God? No. Hey Amen. I'm going to say that again. Does that change God? No. No. Well, if that doesn't change God, then everything that was available 20 years ago, 50 years ago, or a hundred years ago is still available today. Is that not right? That's right. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, but the enemy is about it. Well, what did David say? He said that he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. I don't care how dead, how bad things may look. Amen. If we'll cry out to God for more of the Spirit, God can put new life not only in you, your church, but in your marriage, in your relationship. But we must cry out for that wind to go in our life once again. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You say, how can you say that? Well, I love this scripture. It's one of my favorite Old Testament stories, but Ezekiel chapter 37. I, you know, preached on it many of a time over the last 26 years. I, I, but you know how that he gets down in the valley I, I full of dry bones. I, and over the years, I've heard people sing that song. I, I dry bones in the valley. How way can ye show me? Amen. Now think about it. He's in the midst of a situation that looks pretty hopeless. I, and God even asked him, son of man, I, I can these bones live? And he said, oh Lord, God, thou knowest. He said, prophesy I'm under the bones. Oh, you dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And then all of a sudden, amen, bone become to come to bone. I bone come to his bone. I couldn't sort of come together. And hallelujah, I said things begin to change in that valley full of dead bones. But here's the news. Even though things begin to come together, they were still dead. There's still something missing. Yeah. Too many times we've become satisfied of saying, God, just fix it. Amen. Things can get put together in your life, but if you don't have the Lord, there's something still missing. You know, it's one thing to get healed of your sickness, right. but if you don't understand what it was got you sick to start with, Amen. If what it was that, that brought this problem on, how then you're just uh, not taking care of the problem, but you're just prolonging it. Eventually it'll come again. Amen. And so he said, I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Remember one time I preached on click, click, click. Amen. There was a noise. There was a sound. Amen. A shaking and bone came to his bone. Amen. But listen in verse 9. He said, prophesy unto the wind. Thus saith the Lord. I come from the four winds and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Woo! Glory to God. That wind had to come before they could have life. We still must have the Spirit of God Amen. to have life. That's right. Not just religion. Come on, son. Not just, amen, uh, you know, rules and commandments of men, but I'm talking about life. Yeah. The kind that he said in John 10, the thief, coming up before the steel, killing the score, but I am come that you might have life Praise God. and that you might have it more abundantly. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. That's what God wants to bring in our life. But too many times we're not prophesying under the wind. Come on. We're not looking for more. We just want to duct tape it up, coat hanger it up, and think, well, I'll go a little further. I'll deal with it next time on down the road. Bless him, Lord. But it's time and it's high time that we get back to our roots, to what brought us to where we are now. Mm -hmm. and that was the Spirit of God that wooed our hearts and said, you know what, you need to go to that altar. Mm -hmm. It was the baptism of the Holy Ghost that drew you to seek more of God. But now with all of the problems and the battles and the scars and the situations how that we have going on around us, sometimes it seems like we have lost sight of the Spirit of God. Now if somebody can sing and sometimes we'll get excited. Hi. We'll shout hi. and we'll rejoice for a few minutes and then we go right back down to our settled state. But I'm saying that we need to walk in the Spirit. For if we'll walk in the Spirit, we'll not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And there will be fruit in our life. Come on. That's right. Hello? I said there will be fruit. Come on. But we've got to walk in the Spirit. That means we don't need Him just during revival. Oh, let's get them singers in here. Woo! Amen. Get them and get everybody whipped up and hallelujah. Amen. You've got to have more than that. I'm talking about when you go home. You're facing that same devil you've been fighting for a while. you got to have something that will go with you. Not only go with you, but go before you. For John 10 and 4, when he put forth his own sheep, he goes before them. So he's crying out for the wind to blow. Why? Because in John chapter 3, verse number 8, he said, the wind bloweth where it listeth. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh and whence it goeth. So is everyone that is born to the Spirit. Lord, I want to see some fruit. But before I can see that fruit, I've got to have Him. I've got to have Him. So this morning as I come to a close, reminding us that that same wind blew at Pentecost is wanting to blow on your garden today. Amen. Wanting to shake the dead leaves off. Wanting to stir up the ground a little bit. Getting you ready for springtime. Amen. It doesn't have to be a time of death and a, 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 a time of dreariness to where you think, well, nothing can happen. It's fall. Amen. God can cause new life to rise up or shoot forth in your life. But you've got to look to Him. And so this morning... And I, I prayed about this. I thought, well, I, I'm getting ready to start a revival tomorrow down in Kingsport. Maybe I'll just wait and save this for there. But I, I couldn't get away from it. Awake, O north wind, and come thou south, and blow upon my garden, that the spices thereof may flow out. Was there a time in your life before that the praise just flowed right out of you? Bless you, Lord. But now it seemed like your hands have come down. Was there a time that you didn't care who looked? You came and sang or you came and prayed. But now it's like you're stuck. It's because we need to get closer to the Spirit of God. Bless the Lord. We need a renewing of that. Somebody said, well, I've, I've been baptized in the Spirit for 40 years. Thank God. But where are you this morning? Do you still have that close relationship with God? Somebody said, well, I, I, I don't want that. You know, that I'm, I'm a backward. I'm a shy person. I, I don't want to run up and down the aisle. Well, he's more than that. He's a comforter. Amen. And he can comfort us in all of our tribulations and all of our trials because whenever you go home and there's no amen corner. No. And there's nobody playing the bass or the drums or nobody getting you worked up with that song that you love so well. Right. He'll be there. Amen. And he'll put his arm around you and tell you that it'll be all right. right. And when you can't walk another mile, he'll pick you up. And he'll carry you. We must have the Spirit of God. And we must get it back. Let's not lose that in our churches today. Every head bowed and all eyes closed.
And I know this has been a little different. But I want to encourage you this morning, if you're here and you're lost without God, or you're here and you're not where you need to be, that now is the best time to get a made-up mind and say, you know what, I'm not leaving here the same way I came in. I'm going to get things fixed up. And I want to promise you as we take just a moment, if you raise your hand, I'm not going to come back and try to embarrass you in any way. But I'd just like to ask you, would there be one anywhere today who would say, remember me by the raising of your hand? Maybe you're not saved. Maybe you're not where you need to be. Would there be one anywhere? All right. I'd like to encourage everybody that can and will. Let's come and get on this altar and let's ask God to blow on our garden once again. God has been so good to me, I don't know how He's been to you. I want to, I want to produce fruit. You know, there's that story in the Scripture of how that He came by that tree seeking fruit and He found none. And One of them said, just cut it down. Why let it encumber the ground any longer? And the other one that took care of it said, no, let it alone until I dig about it this year also. He wanted fruit. He wants fruit in you and I. Let's get that hunger back. Oh, my God, this morning, Lord, as we come before you right now in the name of Jesus.